K1, K2, <coughs> K1, K2, K3 for Whitney stress block. This is a little mistake. Hogi thi. K2 equal to beta 1 by 2. This is a little mistake. Hogi thi K1 and K3. So, I will correct it. Uh, K2 we have obtained kiya? by comparing this distance in case of Whitney stress block with the general distance K2C. And this is the same thing. Uh, obtain karenge K1 or K3. This uh, is compare karenge CC in terms of Whitney stress block and CC in case of general stress block. So, this is CC. If you compare kare with this CC from Whitney stress block, so you will be able to get an idea of what should be these constants K1 and K3. So, let's uh, equate them to 0. Point uh, so K just a minute. Uh, K1 K3 and what was the complete expression K1 K3 FC prime BC K1 K3 FC prime BC equal to this 0 0.85 beta 1 FC prime BC. Now you can see that FC prime BC and FC prime BC are appearing on both sides, so these can be readily cancelled. So what does it mean? K1 K1 and K3 product has to be equal to this 0 0.85 beta 1. Now in this side, at this side, we have only one uh, constant, and on this side, we have a product of constants. So, we need to assume value of one of these and then calculate the value of the other in terms of this right hand side. So, uh, K3 is set equal to 1.0, and if this is the case, if you consider K3 equal to 1, then K1 will be 0. 8.5 beta 1. This is how you can derive this. So what does it mean? Uh, K1 is 0.85 beta 1. So if beta 1 is 0.85 for most of the concrete strengths, look at this. Oh, sorry, this is beta 1 equation. So, so if beta 1 is 0.85 as for this A case, then K1 will become 0.85 into 0.85 Approximately, approximately equal to 0 0.72. So, um, anyways, this is the general expression. K1 equal to 0 0.85 beta 1 and K3 equal to 1.0. So, uh, this is how these constants are. We're not, we're not required to discuss these constants for, for design purpose, but just to compare uh, with the general constants, uh, the equations for witness test block. So that's it.